So then take a look at the Belcheri USB 3.2 Gen 2 M.2 SSD docking station. So we got our user manual. I do like that they put these in anti-static bags. It's overkill, but it is a nice touch. Okay, so we've got our cable. This is USB-A to USB-C, but it also has an adapter, so we can make that a USB-C to USB-C. So one end is going to plug into the dock, and then if you're like me and you've got a laptop that only has USB-C ports, we can still use this with that. Now one thing I'm noticing that I really like is this is actually a metal case, and it has a rubber pad on the bottom. It did also come with a heat sink, so if you're worried about your drive heating up, you can use this to help keep it cool. So it's very important to note, this is designed for M key hard drives. So this is not designed for B key SATA hard drives. So it can do SATA and NVMe, or it can do NVMe, but it must be an M key. The reason that's important is because you could fit a B key in here, but it'd be backwards and it would actually fry the hard drive. So NVMe only. So to help with heat reduction, I'm gonna put on this thermal pad and we put the heat sink on top of that. And then they got these rubber bands and that will hold it in place. It's a nice touch. And I do like that they did it this way because this thermal pad is not adhesive, which means we can reuse it over and over. I wanna make sure I got that notch plugging in on the correct side. And plug it in. And it came right up. So I'm going to copy over. This is about 15 gigabytes worth of pictures and videos. And we're looking at right around 720 megabytes per second for that, which is completely acceptable for this hard drive. Now let's just make sure that these play. and they are playing. Okay, so now I wanna do a speed test. And I was curious, I didn't see any lights on the case itself, but if we look inside, we can actually see a little light on the inside, so we know that this thing is actually working. Okay, so for the sequential one megabyte, eight process one thread, we got 1052.37 on the read, 1037 on the right. For the sequential one megabyte, one process one thread, we got 841 and 842. Random 4K, 32 process one thread, we got 240 and 260. For the random 4K, one process one thread, worst case scenario, this is 40 and 80. So these are all perfectly acceptable numbers for that hard drive. What that really means for me is if I need to do something like clone an internal hard drive to an M.2, I can do that without having to take the whole laptop apart, plug the thing in to make that happen. It's nice, and it didn't even really get that hot. So yeah, nice metal case. I really like that cable design and plus the fact that I can just kind of fit this in a small drawer. So that is a very cool adapter.